Hi there and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's called Art for Life 70 and my name's Richard. In this video uh, is a first of a multi-part video on how I paint flowers in my watering can. Um, the flowers uh, that I paint, I draw my inspiration from a very special person uh, who has a wide YouTube presence. Her name is Shada Campbell. Uh, her YouTube channel has more than a half a million followers. And I watch her very closely, watch all her videos. I also follow her on Patreon. And she is a masterful watercolor artist, especially in the area of flowers, trees, uh, plants, and so forth. But she does many other things. Uh, the details um, <clears throat> of her web presence are in the comments below. So in this video I'm going to show you uh, the setup uh, of uh, how I'm going to paint. Um, I use three, actually three journals just for her um, uh, paintings and so I'm going to, uh, I've got several types of flowers here that I, I've uh, painted over the past several months. And uh, this is the one I'm going to use uh, for uh, uh, this practice. I'm going to um, um, use as, as my inspiration for this. Plus I have other versions of the same flower. It's a rose. Plus I have um, uh, other versions and types of flowers that I might include. So um, I... I appreciate uh, Shada's style. I think it's a great style, and uh, I'll show you how I use it. So in a, in a second, you'll get to see the setup um, uh, for getting ready to paint, and in part two, you'll act, I'll like to show you my technique for painting uh, while uh, using a light box. So I'm at my table here ready to paint and I'll go through the supplies I'm going to use. I got my uh, jar of snap brushes and my uh, little dropper for water, my dirty water, my clean water, my baby wipe on a uh, glass cutting board, my porcelain palette, the paint I'll talk about in a minute. And um, this is the drawing I'm going to use. It's got flowers above the can. And uh, I'm going to do my usual thing of taking the flowers, putting it behind a uh, piece of 100% cotton Strathmore uh, paper, line it up, and put the one, two, three, four magnets on. Okay, and so that's ready to go. And you can see here that uh, I have a new uh, light box. It's J-U-N-L umlaut N. And I think uh, in English it's J-U-L-E-O-N. And so it's a pretty good light box. I like it. Um, the advantage to it, it's smaller. It also has multiple brightnesses, so I'm going to turn it on. That's a low brightness. That's a higher brightness. That's the highest, I think that's the highest brightness. And sometimes it doesn't want to turn off. <laughs> um, sometimes my finger doesn't always work with this guy. There we go. Okay, so it'll, it'll actually cycle through them like that. <clears throat> you just got to get your finger right. So I'm going to turn it back on, probably to the highest brightness. And I'll show you that you can actually see well. And uh, sometimes I do not use it on the highest brightness. Sometimes I will. Sometimes it's okay if it's on the lowest brightness. That's the lowest brightness. So I think I may try the lowest brightness today. So um, I'm uh, just about ready to paint. So concerning color... Uh, I've enlisted the help of my wife who loves to grow roses and she has this book called Enjoying Roses. Uh, together we found three uh, colors of roses in here that we liked that work together we think. 
So this is a rose called New Year. Sort of a, a yellowish orange. Um, actually, they say it's a blend of gold and terracotta. And then we're also going to pick this black jade rose right here. And this center gold uh, as the three colors uh, for the roses that I'm, we're going to paint. So I'm going to explain the color selection now. Um, the colors I'm going to use for the greens and the stems and so forth are going to be the Viridian, which is a PG7, the yellow, which is a PY14, the Sap Green, which is a mixture of those two, PG7, PY14, and the Yellow Green, which is a second mixture of the same two pigments, just a shade lighter, the Deep Phalo Green, which includes the PY14 and some blue, uh, the Cerulean Blue, and the Hooker Green, which is PG7, PY14, and the blue. So uh, I'm picking uh, colors that have a match uh, by pigment. For the three roses, the blue is just going to be if I need to make a shade or lighter or darker or something. Um, the three roses are going to be primarily the yellow-orange, PY83, the Crimson Lake, PR170, and the Lemon Yellow, PY3. All of these are transparent, and most all of them are single pigment. So the last thing I want to cover are the brushes. I have uh, three of the Princeton Snap brushes, a number two, a number zero, and a number uh, three slash zero. Since I'll be painting mostly small stuff, I think those will be the only brushes I need. So this will conclude part one of this series of uh, Flowers in the Can. Uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned uh, for the next video uh, where I show you how I actually paint using the light box.